If you're looking for advice, maybe ask your lover to use a diaphragm. That might be a good solution. If you want some reassurance, is this weird? Is this, uh... No, nothing. Uh, let me tell you something. Nothing is weird. If you need to speak freely, don't be bashful. Tell the gynecologist yeah. exactly what you told me. Dr. Ruth can help. Thank you very much, Teddy, for calling. Thanks good for luck. your open-mindedness, Ruth. We'll all love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Lifetime. Answers and advice for you. The following program was pre-recorded. It includes explicit sexual references and may not be suitable for all viewers. The program is hosted by Dr. Ruth Westheimer, noted sex therapist and adjunct associate professor in the sex therapy teaching program at New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center. Welcome to Good Sex with Dr. Ruth Westheimer. Hello, I'm Larry Angelo. Hi, Dr. Ruth. Hello, Larry. You know, you've often talked about sex and said that nothing in sex is unnatural as long as it's between two consenting parties and no one gets hurt. Correct. Well, we took the word unnatural and wondered about it a little bit. Uh, natural means uh, existing in nature. And we wondered whether some of the aspects of human sexuality apply to the animal kingdom. And we came up with some startling discoveries. For instance, did you know we'll start with masturbation? You think of that as a human sexual activity. But no, no, elephants, deer, antelope, and lions, including a number of large animals, all masturbate. I wonder how an elephant does it. It must be tricky. Uh, <laughs> homosexuality. Homosexuality exists. Uh, it's a common practice among many species of birds, especially pigeons. All right. Uh, how about promiscuity? Think of that as distinctly human. No, orangutans are promiscuous, as are uh, many insects, birds, and other primates. How about group sex? Group sex. Look at monkeys, snails, fireflies, mosquitoes, and bats. Snails are swingers. <laughs> and we hear a lot about male chauvinism. Who do you think are chauvinists? I don't know. Male lions are chauvinists, and queen bees are sadists. I'm shocked. Transsexuals in the animal uh, world, oysters, routinely change their sex. And some uh, chimpanzees are nymphomaniacs. The final point I want to make, and the most touching of all, is the life of bees. Most bees die never having had sex. That's terrible. I that. think so. I too. don't like that. But you forgot an animal here. What's Do you that? know about the geese? No. The geese actually have a very interesting phenomenon, because what they do is they elope. The geese, let's say the male, sees a female, he likes her, he swoops down, he picks her up out of the family group, they elope. And you know what's the nicest thing what? about the geese? They stay together for 50 years. Let's suppose that then one of the two partners die. Sometimes the other partner really dies of heartbreak. They are so sad uh -huh. after so many years together the loyalty and fidelity, something that I hope we would see more right. in our world here. And they die out of heartbreak. Yes, well, we can all take a lesson from the geese, maybe. It's interesting to know, though, because we think that human beings are so imaginative that all these things do exist in the animal kingdom. Maybe that's why the geese in mythology is such an important bird. That's we have right. to check that. Well, that's, that's in the future. For the show tonight, we have a good show. Later on, we'll be joined by special guest Erica Jong, who knows a thing or two about this subject, sex, not animals. And as usual, we'll, we'll be taking many viewer calls as we can, plus a few surprises, so stay tuned.